Well, the incident took place on Monday during a lacrosse match between Manchester Valley High School and Francis Scott Kihai. It's what some of the key players said to an African-American student that's raising concerns tonight. A game of athletic competition on the playing field turned racial when an African-American Manchester Valley player says he became the subject of numerous racial remarks from members of the opposing team, Francis Scott Key. He wrote in a social media post, I felt uncomfortable and targeted in the whole game. Every time I made a good play, someone would call me the N-word. The mother of another African-American student, also a Manchester player, tells us what happened next. When a young man came off the field, he said to my son, has that happened to you before? And my son said, what? And he was like, they're calling me racial slurs. And my son was like, yeah. He's like, it happens all the time. He's like, I'm honestly used to it. The Manchester player also wrote on his social media post, he told his coaches and they didn't hesitate to take quick action and talk to the refs about it. But the racism didn't stop. The team got way too comfortable with it. They felt so comfortable saying racist words to me. Carroll County School Superintendent said, enough is enough. It is not the first time we've had students share stories of concerns like this. And oftentimes we say, that won't be tolerated. Um, he called on parents in the community the to help him solve the district's racial discrimination problem, and he's not alone. It's been gaslighted so much that these kids are comfortable enough saying it. That derogatory word, using racial slurs with confidence at the right time, they're learning that from home. That behavior is accepted at home. The principals from both schools and the superintendent have sent home letters to parents addressing the incident. Now you can read those letters in full. We posted them on our WBAL TV 11 News app. Live at Manchester Valley High School in Carroll County, Tim Tootin, WBAL TV 11 News.